Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Before you watch today's video, please subscribe us. Have you heard about the important materials of manufacturing chip? The process of chip manufacturing is very complex and requires the use of a wide variety of semiconductor equipment and materials. The photoresist is used to protect the base of the wafer substrate during the photolithography process and to present the chip circuit pattern on the surface of the wafer. The global photoresist market has been monopolized by Japan and there is good news from Chinese companies that domestic 14 nanometers photoresist has been put into production. What kind of icebreaker is this? How important is it to break the photoresist monopoly? Domestic photoresist has achieved further development. A small chip has a billion dollar industry chain behind it. From design to manufacturing, to packaging and testing, a series of links require a lot of technical support. EDA at the software level, lithography machines in the hardware field, and in addition, seemingly inconspicuous photoresist materials can also play a crucial role. Photoresist only accounts for a small cost in the chip manufacturing industry, but if there is no photoresist, even if you master a high-end EUV lithography machine, you may not be able to expose the chip pattern on the wafer. Photoresist is a light-sensitive chemical material that is used to resist corrosion during the operation of the lithography machine, so as to obtain the desired image on the surface of the wafer. For such an important material, most of the core technology and market share are in the hands of Japan. Tokyo-based JSR is a high-end photoresist supplier that can provide a large number of photoresist materials such as RF and EUV, occupying about 30% to 40% of the global market share. And Tokyo Yinghua, a Japanese company, also has a market share of more than 50% in EUV lithography machines. Shinetsu Chemical also masters the core technology of high-end photoresist. Together with JSR and Tokyo Yinghua, these Japanese companies monopolize 90% of the global photoresist market. The mainstream photoresists in the market basically come from Japan, TSMC, and Samsung cannot do without the Japanese photoresist supply. It's just that the market, technology is in the hands of the other party, and it will inevitably be restricted. Due to production capacity and regulatory issues, Japanese companies may not be able to guarantee smooth shipments. Therefore, it is very important to master independent photoresist. China also has its own photoresist manufacturers mainly including NTU Optoelectronics, Shanghai Xinyang, Jingrui Electric Materials and so on. Among them, NTU has made great contributions, and there is good news that RF photoresist has broken the ice. According to media sources, NTU's RF photoresist for 14 nanometers has started production and is being delivered to customers. NTU is the leader in domestic photoresist and has made corresponding breakthroughs one after another. First, two RF photoresist production lines were built in the first quarter of this year, and then customer verification was carried out, and the RF photoresist project was steadily advanced. NTU's contribution has made the domestic photoresist a step further. It has realized the localization of most products in the field of low-end photoresist, and there are also some layout actions for the high-end. 
Although Japanese companies still have core technologies and major market shares, with the continuous development of domestic photoresist technology, larger scale shipments, and substitution in domestic production lines in the future, it may not be impossible to break the monopoly. How important is it to break the photoresist monopoly? Japan started early in the photoresist track, and there are many entrants, so it has accumulated a large number of core technologies and formed barriers to the knowledge patent system. If you want to break the monopoly, you can only find more ways out and explore more technical feasibility. Therefore, it takes a lot of time. Even if it is the same KRF and RF process, the uniqueness of the technology must be realized. On the bright side, NTU's technology has the characteristics of uniqueness and irreplaceability, and it is currently the leader in the field of domestic photoresist. After more than 20 years of accumulation and precipitation, NTU Optoelectronics can provide customers with customized products and services, conduct photoresist product verification on the customer's platform, and make adjustments to optimize service plans. Faced with the industry leadership of Japanese companies, how important is it to break the monopoly? First of all, domestic chips are accelerating, and more domestic industrial chain technical facilities are needed. China has set a goal of 70% chip self-sufficiency rate. To achieve this goal not only requires production capacity support, but also the industrial chain behind it also needs to provide independent technology so that it can meet the demand for production increase in a relatively short period of time. Photoresist is a major focus, from low-end G-line, I-line, to mid to high-end KRF, RF photoresist, and even future EUV needs to continue to be conquered. Domestic chips are accelerating, and with the support of domestic industrial chain technology facilities, a solid supply base can be established. Secondly, it has the right to speak in terms of supply and pricing. The product is in the hands of others, and it is up to others to decide how many goods you can get and how much you spend on purchasing. Japanese photoresist manufacturers were unable to supply normally due to the scarcity of production capacity, and prices continued to skyrocket. If you break the monopoly and have your own products as substitutes and candidates, then you can have the right to speak in terms of supply and pricing. Even if you don't need to give up the other party's photoresist products, you can use domestic photoresist as a retreat to increase the right to bargain. Domestic photoresist has continued to develop in recent years, and companies such as NTU Optoelectronics, Shanghai Xinyang and Zuzhu Bokang have participated in it, and related technologies and industrial chain facilities are gradually improving. In particular, NTU's RF photoresist is an important material that can be applied to 55 nanometers, 28 nanometers, 14 nanometers, and other processes. Domestic chips are expanding the production capacity of mature chips, which is believed to bring more help to the development of domestic chips. Photoresist is an inaccessible material in the chip manufacturing process. Domestic manufacturers started late, so many aspects still need to overcome difficulties. Fortunately, the domestic photoresist has begun to speed up, accumulating a lot of key technologies, and looking forward to making greater breakthroughs. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.